Bob's Red Mill and today I'm in the kitchen making lemon zucchini muffins. These are um, perfect muffins to use up the inevitable um, bounty of zucchini that I still have growing in my garden so I'm hoping you do too. Um, these are bright in flavor, um, lightly sweetened and um, a perfect treat for the day. So let's get started. In this bowl, I have my gluten-free one-to-one flour. You can also use all-purpose flour on this one if you want to. Um, and I am going to add my baking powder. And then I'm going to add um, a little bit of salt to it. This just brings out all the flavors, so you always want to add just a pinch of salt to anything sweet um, when you're baking because it just brightens up everything. And then I'm going to add my sugar. So, let's see. And after that, I'm gonna take my whisk, which I completely forgot to get out, and mix that all together in my bowl. I just wanna make sure there are no lumps and it just lightens up everything. Makes everything mixed together well. And at this point, um, I forgot to mention that I'm just going to dump everything in this bowl, so it's going to be an easy uh, one bowl muffin mix. At this point, we are going to add, I have egg whites. Um, you can also use whole eggs. I like to use egg whites because I think it makes my gluten-free baked goods a little bit lighter. Um, the egg yolks tend to make things a little heavier and I just need the binder in it. So for this one, I am using egg whites. And I have um, a little bit of almond milk here. Pour that in, and I softened up my butter. Probably softened it a little more than I should have, but it'll still work out just fine. And I also have some apple cider vinegar, which helps um, give everything a boost. And I'm gonna take my lemon, and I'm gonna zest. I want um, to add a little of the zest to it. It's um, great for giving it, again, that nice bright flavor, a little bit extra lemon to it. And just make sure you don't go too deep on it. You don't want a lot of the white in there, but I do like to put a lot of lemon zest in things. So here I am just going to go around and make sure I don't miss any of this guy. And then I'm going to add in the lemon juice. So I'm going to cut this in half and have my juicer here. So I love doing this. Um, fresh for me is always better, but if you prefer to use the, the stuff in the bottle, that's a-okay. Let's see how much. I'm looking for a quarter cup. I think I'm probably gonna need the other half of that. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and do the other half. Should we get all that goodness out? And there we go. Perfect. We got a quarter cup. Excellent. <laughs> I love it when that happens. So I'm gonna pour that in and put that over to the side. Clean up my mess because it's everywhere. And then I'm going to take my spatula and just mix everything together here. Just make sure everything's fully incorporated and looks good. We have a nice, it's just a nice basic lemon batter going on here right now. And then from here, I am going to, oh, that looks so good. And it smells amazing already. Okay. This is what we have. Give you a look. It's perfect. Okay, now I'm going to take my zucchini. I'm just gonna use my bowl for my sugar. And I'm going to grate it. Um, you can do this in a food processor as well. I'm just gonna take a, a minute here and grate this. This also works with carrots. 
um, squash. If you have the yellow squash in the in the garden, and that would be perfect in this as well. Okay. We're looking for a cup, so we'll see how far this takes us. Not that you don't ever, you know, have plenty of recipes out there for you to use your zucchini. I love making zoodles. <laughs> Some people in my family are not as big a fan of the zoodles, but um, I personally love some uh, some zoodles with some homemade sauce. Okay, I think we have about a cup here. And at this point, I am going to measure it out. And you don't wanna pack it down, you just wanna lightly put it in there. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna add this in. That aside. And stir that up. Oh, this looks fantastic. I'm excited. These are great for on-the-go breakfast. They're perfect for a sweet treat in the afternoon. Um, they freeze well. You can just pop them in the freezer and then uh, microwave them or set them out the night before. And um, you can even toast them up in the toaster oven, which I think is really good. So, okay. Everything mixed together. I've already prepared my um, muffin tin. This makes um, this makes eight muffins, which I really like. I feel like sometimes 12 is too many. We're a house of four, and while I like to say we eat um, pretty well, um, uh, sometimes the baked goods, by the time you get to the last few, you're kind of all done with it. So um, I really like to use, um, I like recipes that have around um, eight when it comes to muffins, especially. Um, but if you like more, you can double the recipe. Um, and it also, you can cut it in half if you have a smaller group. So from here, I'm gonna take my batter and I like using the, um, the cookie scoop or muffin scoop just to make sure everything's even. I will evenly distribute these into the muffin tin or muffin pan. And, oh, this looks so good. It smells so good. And, let's see. That's gonna be perfect. Um, and then, it's gonna take about two scoops each. may end up having to take some out on the other ones, but you know what, we'll work with it. Um, and then at this point, we are going to put these in a 350 degree preheated oven and bake them for about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, you just wanna make sure that they're nice and golden brown on the top. And you don't have, um, when you stick it with a toothpick, you don't have any wetness that comes out of it. I'm gonna scrape this guy. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. want to make sure they're even, so I'm going to take a little bit from this guy. Shh, don't tell I'm stealing it. <laughs> and I'm going to sprinkle the top with a little extra sugar. I happen to like that. That's my trick for not adding quite so much sugar into the recipe. If you put a little bit on top, it um, actually gives your palate that chance to get that, that hit of sweetness, so you don't need um, a ton in the recipe. So from here, I'm gonna take a little bit of extra sugar and just put that on top. It also gives it a nice little crunch, which is, you know, fun on your muffin. Okay. My mouth is already watering. I'm ready. And I still have to wait. Um, okay, so from here, I will finish this up and then 
pop these in the oven and I'll be back when they're done in about 25, 30 minutes. All right, we are back. The muffins were in the oven for about 30 minutes. And I actually, these are my favorite parts. Look at that, nice and toasty. <laughs> um, I'm gonna let these cool for a little while and then when they're cool for about five minutes, I will take them out and enjoy. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for recipes that you would like to see on here, let me know in the comments. Um, also, let me know what you're doing with your zucchini. <laughs> I need some ideas too. Until next time, I will see you later. Bye.